feel like I should be banging on something. Because, <laughs> you know, it's no longer banging in the video. Right, yeah. <laughs> so Hopefully strange. this is the last one we do. But, uh, yeah, what really sucks is you were just about to tell your story and it cuts out for no reason. So, yeah, it's yep. like... Thanks again, saw, Delgado! Yeah, the audio was working up until a few minutes in. As and you can probably tell, <laughs> since we're going in post, you gotta fix it in post. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll look great in post. Well, I mean, thankfully we do have post-production, so that's that's all good. Yeah, it's Makes all one man. Right here. <laughs> Pissed off that the audio fucking drops for no reason. Yep. Well, at least I know what I was going to talk about this time. Yeah. So go <laughs> ahead, tell your story. Enough listening to me, Blather. Well, at, th at this point in time when we were recording, I'd been on a major Zelda tear where I was going back and playing a bunch that I'd either never played or hadn't played in a very, very long time. Like I um, I had bought Mystic. Not Mystic. <laughs> Minish Cap. <laughs> Mystic I want to say Cap. Mystic. <laughs> It was, sort of. It was a talking hat. Yeah, I heard not, not a lot of people like that hat. It's they, all right. They find him annoying. Ezio, Ezlo, or whatever his name is. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, he's no Navi. Wait, uh, he's no Navi as in he's, like, not as charming as Navi or not as annoying as Navi? Um, not quite as annoying. I mean, at least with, with the, the hat, he has some personality and sass to him. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. what a sassy hat. <laughs> saunter on up on your cap. But yeah, it was it was a lot of fun, and that was like one of the few Zelda games where you don't fight Ganon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you're right. <laughs> because even when you don't think it's Ganon, it ends up being Ganon. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I was like, oh, this is a game I've never played. And then I went and started playing Wind Waker, which like, was another game I'd never ever oh, played. Hey, man, oh man. It doesn't matter if you were late to the bandwagon. I'm glad you finally got to play it. Whoa, it was so good. And it was definitely worth it. I really enjoyed it. Like I, you know, I know a lot of people didn't like the sailing aspect of it. They're like, well, it takes too long. I don't give a shit. Like, Did Tetra Zelda jump up on your list as one of the favorite Zelda slash characters in the uh, Legend of Zelda series? Oh yeah, because she's awesome. She's great. <laughs> Let's put you in a barrel and launch you over the wall. It yeah. should be fun. <laughs> this little girl is commanding a team of like these. Big ass burly men, because she's so awesome. <laughs> and like, we don't want to mess with her. Yeah. <laughs> well, that yeah. that game had a lot going for it, and I really enjoyed playing. Had a lot of fucking charm. I loved it. What's that glowing shit? That's supposed to be gold. Gold. But, yeah, well, yeah. but being the great hero that we are, we don't need that. We don't need it. We just need justice. Nah, well, you know, we're just we can't have the, don't have the capacity to pick it up. Yeah, it's too heavy. I mean, look at it. It's the size of you. But anyway, what are the Zelda? You well, play the Well, then I, I, um, I do have yeah, yeah, yeah. the original uh, Link's Awakening, but they all, but they had a uh, DX version for the 3DS. Yeah. So I played that. I replayed that just to go. Oh, it's 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 got a new dungeon in it, and I can see it sort of in co sort of color. Yeah, the color dungeon was the new one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's one where you know, like I've played it. I'd played that a lot as a kid, so I knew exactly what to do, and, and we're all like. That's one of those games where, yeah. even though, no matter how long it's been since you played it, you're like, I got this. It just one. comes back to you. Like you get I knew to, where all the secret seashells were. I mean, you get to, like, uh, to walk a chain chomp. It's pretty yeah. fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, God. Like, that was weird. Because, like, you're like, are the universes colliding? Like, yeah, well, all your universe and the Zelda universe well, just... Plus, there was a Yoshi doll. Yeah, there's Yoshi doll, chain chomp. Goombas, cheap cheeps. Goombas and cheap cheeps. And, uh, and wart. Oh yeah, Ward. That was like the last time we see Ward because fuck Nintendo doesn't give a shit about him. He's gone. <laughs> they should use him. They're like, why no. Not, why not the, less, the less we use him, the better. They're like, we'll use everything else, like Birdo and Shy Guys and everything else that came from that game, but not, but not Ward. Fuck that, the end boss. Well, that would make an interesting game if like suddenly Wart takes over and like kicks Bowser out of his castle. Yeah, could you imagine like and then the Bowser's whole time you like, think it's Bowser, but then all of a sudden like Ward. You sit up soon? Well, kind of like something that happens in, like, once again, I gotta mention Paper Mario. Like, once again, like, 
something like Pip Mario esque, where like Bowser's like just doing his thing and kidnapping his princess, blah blah blah. And then like Wart comes along and he's like, I'm back, fuckers. I've been out of the game for a while, but I'm back. Or even like Mario I'm stronger than ever. Or even like Mario RPG, where uh, like the Smithy gang gang yeah, takes like, over and kicks Bar Bowser out of his castle. And Bowser's kind of like pseudo. Pathetic, but too kind of funny and cool. Yeah, I like that Bowser. He had a lot more personality personality than just raw. I'm and I think raw. That, and I think that would be like an interesting sort of game, because like we we played as Bowser before, but never in a platform game. It's always been either like RPG yeah. style, or that's kind of it, really. Like or yeah. in like Smash Brothers. I mean, well, Smash doesn't really count because you're just fighting. Like, so it would be interesting because like all the all the game all the uh, the Mario games are suited for Mario's jumping and platforming. What if, and, and what usually if they had to play as Bowser? And usually they design levels like later on with like the other characters. Like, well, obviously like Peach has a shorter jump, but she can float, and Luigi has a big jump, but he's slippery. Mm -hmm. So they they started molding the levels to where it could accommodate four types of play styles because there was four types of characters you could play as. Right. I forget what makes Toad different. Is well, he's like, very fast, but oh, has a short really jump. short jump. Yeah, yeah. So I guess Bowser would be super slow and. Crappy jump, but I guess he could plow. Maybe he could plow through enemies. Like, if there's like a row of Goombas, he could just like turtle up into his shell and just bam, yeah. just like slide. Like there's a lot them. of, I think there's a lot of possibilities there for something really and neat, plus flame breath. I love that flame breath. Yeah. Like, maybe he could do be... like shortcuts because, he, like, I don't know, there's like a bunch of vines in the way. Piranha plant vines, he could just burn them down. Well, I think maybe that would be um, a good return to like if they wanted to do like Mario Two style, where, yeah, you know, yeah. where instead of jumping enemies to kill them, you could jump on them and pick them up. Oh yeah, yeah. Because Bowser's more of like a throwy type guy. Like yeah, yeah. like you always see him. He's like very, like he's always wrestling and like like doing like just like you know. So like imagine like if it's you know it's you it's Mario and Bowser they have to team up because like they have like the enemy of me yeah. my enemy is my friend, and, and so like and he's, he's teamed up before with Mario. Right, so, and then yeah. they don't like each other. But they know they got to do it, so they could use that they could like quote unquote you. use each other to advance. Like I don't like you. you know, Mario yeah. could swing Bowser around, just not like, really being just like gentle. In, just like in like, yeah, like, just like in like a Mario like in 64. RPG. Yeah, like Mario RPG. He's like and Bowser throws Mario at yeah. people. Ba Bowser's Bowser's like he's like I'm making you an honorary Koopa Troop member, <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> like he like Bowser's like you live win. <laughs> See, that would be a good game. I'd play that. Yeah, but no. <laughs> never do it. No, no, won't do it. Probably won't do it. Yeah. I like, wish they would. That would be cool. Kind of cool. <laughs> just for the excuse of like, hey, let's fight Word again, just because. No, no, it would be cool. A fucking F Zero game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, no, it's been like nearly a fucking decade since the last F Zero. Holy shit! <laughs> well, same could be said for a lot of games that they've done. Well. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Or haven't done. Like we have a better chance of getting a Star Fox game than F Zero. Jeez. Aren't they making a Star Fox game? Yes, that's what I mean. Okay. Holy shit! Captain Falcon's just crying into his visor, just like, I guess I'll just go bounty hunting for the hundredth time and not care about my racing. <laughs> Actually, could you imagine that? Like a, like you know, like Star Fox Adventure was like, kind of. Uh, a total like, departure from yeah, Star Fox. Yeah, departure from uh, form, from like uh, typical form. Mm -hmm. Like, what if you play like a like an F Zero game where like you're you're Captain Falcon and you're just going around doing like bounties. Well, just, I mean, you know, just bounties. Like, well, oh, like, this guy's like. Well, as long as you didn't label F Zero because that's racing. If you name it, it was like a Captain Falcon game, like, like by itself, like a spin-off game. Like Captain Falcon bounty hunting, intergalactic bounty hunting or something. So, I mean, like, I, I, that, yeah, that doesn't really roll off the tongue, but yeah, like Captain Falcon, and like you could the still use the world, Doom. <laughs> like you could use the worlds, like a uh, like Mute City. Yeah, Mute City could be like a CD. Like the, there's like a nice lofty area up in like the penthouse areas, and like there's a CD <laughs> underbelly. Like you want some? There you go, have, Captain Falcon, the Trials of Mute City. And, and like, uh, what's that sand area called? Like you could be there. And it's like a very desert area, but you have. Like you have outlaws and like you're you're looking for a bounty and like the guy's like hiding out in like that forsaken desert area so you get to track him down but the sparse clues hidden throughout like the area because it's a fucking desert. 
I don't know. I don't, I don't know if Sparse Foods would be. That sounds like a point and click adventure. Yeah, no, no, no. Cap, well, you not know, be Captain Falcon. You know how they would structure it with that, like yeah, you know, you Falcon punch a wall and you find like he was <laughs> camping out behind that wall. You know what would be good for Captain Falcon? Like a like a um a brawler. Kind of like a like what? Like in the style of a like Double Dragon. Yeah, like a two D brawler like that. Yeah. Yeah, that'd work. Yeah, because I don't know about 3D. Maybe, maybe it could work. Like heck, they proved me wrong with Prime, with Metroid Prime. I was like, could Samus really work? Yes, Samus can work in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> God, Metroid Prime's so good. FPS as good well. music and like, like just the little things in Metroid Prime were cool. Like I remember using like the X-ray visor, and you could see Samus's hand inside the gun and shit, and it just made. It made it clicked and it made sense. I was like, ah, oh, so that's how, so that's where her hand is in the gun. Because I was like, where? I was like, is it in? A, is it always in like a fist or is it like that like would a, hurt after a while? Yeah, like, move your hand. It would get sprained and yeah, it would get, get sprained. So her hand's just like kind of like around like like close to the cannon part, but like it's there. And it, it was cool. I also like like in the when we're talking about like, little touches like if. If you're shooting something there's like a flash, you can actually see her reflection in the visor. Yeah, yeah, you, you, see, you her see her eyes. Yeah, I remember that. Like little like, touches like that. Go I remember a long way. like Will was playing through Metroid Prime and he, he he mentioned that I was like, Yeah, that's so cool, I remember. And then, I <laughs> talking like, about games that aren't Mystic yeah, Quest. <laughs> well, that's what Mystic Quest kinda does to you. It's okay. Those are Mr. Quest, those are Medusa Lady. And those are stupid ass ninja. Fuck you, ninja. Why would you wear pink, Ninja? You don't make sense. Well, we talked about it. He blends in with the wall. That's, that's true. It's not <laughs> like he's going to wear black, then he stands out like a sore thumb. Well, there are black ninjas later, I think. Yeah, but maybe it's in like but a dark still, area. No, but they'd still stick out. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, whatever. It's just to be like, hey, we, rec we recolored it. Yeah. Just like we do half these enemies. Shh. Which, to be fair, that's something that they always do. I, I forget, like, holy shit, like, are we, like, clearing out the rest of this area or something, or what? No. I don't know, I think because, like, the way this place was designed, I was getting confused on where to go. Yes, the simple game for babies. It's okay, because I got confused, I don't blame you. Well, what, the problem with this one was, like, the level's, like, wrapping around. Yeah. But, like, if you get the edge, you'll see the other edge of the screen. Yeah, it's, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. So like I was trying to find all the doors and trying to figure out where to go, and I keep kept getting confused by saying like, why can't I see that guy? But then he's over there. Uh huh. And I eventually I figured it out. <laughs> Look at this smug ass, always big ass smile, and then he's like backing off, going further away. Like, oh no, the cloud is getting me. He's like going further into the distance, trying to pelt you with rocks. <laughs> oh, hot wings, our favorite enemy. <laughs> Hot wings. I, about that. I could go for some hot wings. Once again, I'm mentioning hot wings. I'm always thinking about food. But actually, like, no, especially today, maybe I should get some hot wings for dinner. But oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Hot wings leading the way. That's pot wheels. Hot wheels. I yeah. Hot wheels good. They never worked properly, at least in my experience. I was like, How do they not work properly? It's little cars. I was like, go through the loop and it would fall. <laughs> I was like, is there not enough force or power or whatever behind it? Shit. I, maybe I had the shitty Hot Wheels. Then again, I got them from Chinatown, and who knows? Ah, so maybe they were just knockoff Hot Wheels. Yeah, they were probably. <laughs> my mom probably <laughs> thought they were Hot Wheels, but they were just like knockoff, not really Hot Wheels. That's such a horrible thing too. When you get when you get the knockoff thing, your parents think they did good. Yeah, because you told a story of like you, like you got like a knockoff like version of like a shirt or something. I think. Yeah, I did. But I think I told that story in another. Yeah, movie. you did. I think. Oh God, spoilers! Hopefully that one wasn't one that got erased. No, I, no, it didn't. I just forget what game we were talking about. Oh, okay. And well, maybe it'll come back. Was it Conquerors? Nah, it wasn't Conquerors. No, I don't think so. But uh, yeah. it was probably one of these. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! I get it, game. They're phoenixes. They can heal themselves. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Oh man, shit. Shit's getting down. Because Ruben's petrified and it fucking sucks. It does, but, you know, thank goodness enemy AI is stupid because, like, aha, we petrified your friend. 
if you missed, you if you missed it, you would have been dead. Yeah. <laughs> Which wouldn't have really mattered, but whatever. No, at least that's even though it's sort of like a Time it shouldn't be a uh, thing in the RPGs, it's forgiving. Yeah. So it's not to discourage yeah. you. I think I might have already asked you this, but what was the most unforgiving RPG you ever played? The most unforgiving? Mine would probably be like Dragon Quest Dragon Quest One, which I played like the the re-release on like the Game Boy, whatever, and yeah, that was hard. That was fucking hard. <laughs> it didn't, it didn't want to give you a break ever, ever. <laughs> um, kind of thing. Like I know some of the later are like Final Fantasy. You like, might have mentioned like Breath of Death, maybe like one of the older ones. No, it was like well, the one that gave me the most trouble in terms of like I wasn't having fun, sort of difficult was uh, Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter. Dragon Quarter, and. To give you an idea of like, even the developers knew. Yeah. Where it was basically like, if you died, that was it. it was like you could like they gave you limited saves, and if you died, it was like you cannot restart. Oh my god. And gosh. once and if you do like if you like if you die, that's it, game over. And when you restart from, from the beginning again. Oh my god. There'll be very dif- there'll be differences in slight differences in the story. Oh my god. So they were counting on you dying. Holy shit. And, and like. Like you have to. Sp- Go back to story type. Oh my! Yeah, if you God. if you fall in battle completely, it is back to the beginning. Shit! And like your saves will do nothing, and you had limited saves. I'm, which I, mean, I hate I, in RPG. I, like I hate in games because like, look. Yeah. If I'm getting up in the morning, like, and this is like, let's say I'm going to go to school, I have like an hour before I have to leave. Like you know you can get through it, would just take a lot of time. But it's like grinding. Right? Yeah, I was like. Yeah. Like all I want to do is, you know, I'll wake up, I'm awake, and then let me can... do a little grinding just so I have yeah, something yeah, yeah. to do before I go, and then that's that. And if I die, you know, I shouldn't matter because, yeah. like, in normal RPGs, or I can just hey, I'll, I'll do a little grinding or earn a little money so I can buy something later, save, yeah, yeah. go to work, or go to school. I hate so I hate limited stuff like that. That is no, that is bullshit. I hate that too. You should like I'm a saveaholic. Like even when I'm at the save point, I'll save three times at the same save point just to make sure. <laughs> And on that note, guys, we're going to see you in the next one. Yeah. See ya.